Doctor, I have been diagnosed with unicornial uterus and I have been advised surrogacy. So many patients come to us when they are first diagnosed with unicornial uterus. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is unicornial uterus, how it develops, what are the symptoms that you may have, what are the problems that you may face and whether you can become mother in this uterus or not. So hi friends, I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma from Origin Fertility and IVF. You can see the video till the end if you are suffering from unicornate uterus or if somebody in your family is suffering from unicornate uterus. I hope it will be helpful for you. So when a woman is a fetus inside her mother's womb, two ducts which are called Mullerian ducts, they start forming in the abdomen. And these two Mullerian ducts, they come and join in the center in the pelvis and these two ducts joined together they form a uterus this is how a normal uterus forms so the midline part joint part becomes a uterus and the remaining part becomes fallopian tubes so that's how a normal uterus and normal both tubes develops in a woman's body so if something happens during the fetal life when you are still a child in your mother's womb that one side Mullerian duct is not able to develop. Then what will happen? Only one side Mullerian duct has formed half uterus and one of the fallopian tubes. Nobody knows why it happens. What are the factors? Is it genetic or not genetic? Are there any environmental factors? We really don't know the cause. We just know that it does happen in some of the women and it is pretty common. So there are no, no symptoms at all because you have half uterus which will be bleeding normally so you will be having normal menstruation you have um, you know absolutely normal you will not even come to know of it unless you do an ultrasound or unless you suffer from a complication of unicornic uterus ultrasound is a very good modality most of the time in a 3d ultrasound a good ultrasound doctor would be able to catch that this uterus is not complete and this is unicornic uterus so many times when we get the tube test done, which is HSG, that also shows us that it is only just one side cavity. Then sometimes MRI is also advised, you know, when we have some doubt in the ultrasound or on HSG, then MRI can also help us in delineating that it's a unicornic uterus. And many of the times when we do hysteroscopy, that means when we put in a telescope inside the uterus and see the uterus from inside, then we can see just a very narrow tubular cavity and only one side tube opening that also tells us that this is a unicornic uterus. So ultrasound, MRI, HSG and hysteroscopy can clinch the diagnosis that we are dealing with unicornic uterus. Many of the times it will present as mid trimester abortion, meaning like you may conceive normally, the spontaneous pregnancies can happen itself because you have a tube, you have an ovary and you have a uterus. So, so many times pregnancies happen. But what happens is that size of the uterus is a small and a human uterus, full uterus is made for one, for, made for one baby. So that half uterus is sometimes not able to hold the baby to full nine months. So what happens, the baby may get aborted, let's say at three months, at four months, at five months, that is mid trimester abortion. And a usual history in unicornate uterus is that abortion happens at successively larger gestation. Meaning if your first abortion happened at let's say four months, the second will happen at five months, the third will happen at six months. Because with each pregnancy, the uterus size is enlarging, right? So abortions, mid trimester abortion at successive gestations can happen. So many times it may happen that Pregnancy continued normally, but at the time of cesarean, we come to know that it is a unicornic uterus because in such a uterus, normally the baby will not be in the normal position. So many times they are breech position, so many times they are transverse position because the space is so less, the baby does not have a, a space to be in the normal position. And during the time of cesarean, we come to know that this is a, uh, this is a unicornic uterus. <music> And if such a patient comes to us with infertility, let's say if she's not able to conceive, so it is not because of unicornate uterus that she's not able to conceive. As I said, so many times patients will have normal pregnancies, right? So your treatment of infertility will exactly be the same as with any other patient with normal uterus, okay? That could be normal try, that could be IUI, that could be IVF, okay? The only thing to remember for fertility is that your time is sort of half. 
because half of the time your egg is forming from the side where there is no tube and you ovary. So out of 12 months, let's say you have just six months for conception, right? This is number one. And number two, whenever such a patient of unicornial uterus, let's say we are, uh, we ended up doing an IVF because of other indication, let's say she, her tube is blocked or whatever reason, we are doing an IVF. We have to remember that only one embryo should be transferred in such a uterus. That is elective single embryo transfer should be the norm because as it is that uterus is very small, it cannot hold uh, two babies at all. So single embryo transfer should be the one when we are doing IVF for such a patient. One more thing with pregnancy in unicornial uterus is that whenever you are pregnant at around three months of gestation at around 12 weeks, uh, we usually uh, put a stitch at cervix or at the mouth of the uterus that is known as cervical circlas or maternal stitch. That is to hold the baby, that is, you know, to give strength to the uterus so that abortions doesn't happen. So in the end, I would like to say that unicornic uterus does not mean that you need surrogacy. No, not at all. Okay. You can conceive in your own uterus. You just have to be a little careful when you are pregnant. And we have to make sure that it should be a single pregnancy, not a twin pregnancy. So I hope many of your uh, doubts and concerns must have been addressed with the medium of this video if you have any questions you can write down below in the comment section and we would be happy to answer that on every tuesday at 12 pm we have a live session at our channel you can join our live channel and we usually try to answer these questions during the live session thank you so much mm -hmm.